right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's for the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Body out of Miami, Florida, presenting the challenger, Blood. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Body out of New York, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. So we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one was fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Just a slip there. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. And they separate. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Nice. Unable to connect with the right hand there. And he landed the right hand there. Both 
fighters throwing heat now. Block that kick to the body. Cut above the eye. Real sneak body kick. Oh, big punch land. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Circling towards the left now. Big overhand right. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Back and forth we go! Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Blocks the shot. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Not there. Single collar tie now. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Trying to establish that jab once again. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice loop and punch. Oh! Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. He is all about that left kick to the body. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Left hand punch in the clinch. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Unable to land with that punch. Right hook to the body. Right punches there. Yet again, they will clinch here. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Back and forth we go. Punch coming, it's blocked. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing with that type of intensity. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, he dances all over his opponent's face. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you will. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the run. Your boxing looks amazing. Let's keep up the pace, keep up the pressure. He's a piece of meat out there just waiting to be knocked down. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coach yelled, don't hit her, don't hit her. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner. Right. Because every time he throws, he's landing. Slips that left hand. Watch the shot. Oh, collar tie. 
misses with that punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Back and forth we go. Nice defense there. Huge block. lands over the top. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Three minutes. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Try to establish that jab. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Oh, big elbow. Oh, yeah, right hand. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Look at that hip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And there comes the separation now. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Caught the kick. Ooh, big shot land. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Slips to avoid that left. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh, big And both guys really throwing with authority. 10 seconds remain in round two. What a punch. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, that's the end of the round. And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man gonna earn his money tonight. Chin's low, protect yourself. 
All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, oh, you yeah. are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Punch over the top. Nice, sneaky head kick. Got the single collar tie. Blood now trickling down from the eyebrow. That shot cut him. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Right hand on point. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more. You cannot eat too many. you got to get the elbow to the side, because otherwise he's going to land one that's going to shut everything down. Big punch lands through the middle. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, brutal knee to the body. Oh, straight right. Blocks that strike. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Nice strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh! Huge right hand! Movement to slip the left hand. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body, and you gotta think his opponent is gonna continue to attack that area. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just out of range with that right hook. How good is that right hand? Back and forth we go here! Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. He blocks the punch. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build up. Oh, oh, right there, DC, he's rock. These are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Oh, a single collar tie there. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Big body kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, nice lead up the front. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. 
for the spinning kick there. Telegraphed it a little bit, no good. Man, that cut has really opened up. What a round. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round. To stop and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going over to right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Punch to the body is blocked. That one's not in. Nice play. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here. And he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Able to check the high kick. Powerful leg kick lands. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this short. He's never looked this good. Slips to avoid the right. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. The right hand just misses. Nice. That's it. Nice shot. Unable to grab on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. That's a big strike right there. And they separate. He engages in the single collar tie. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish the fight. Punch his block. Oh, big left hand there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Beautiful strike. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way. Oh! He wiped the ball. Well, he's 
going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 52 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I so there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout. And his corner is absolutely thrilled with the effort and the result here tonight. He was measured, and when there was an opportunity to seize the finish, he certainly steamrolled right through it. Congratulations to the still the 